Should've went and got my breakfast. Cause now I'm getting hungry. The clock is ticking away. I can tell this is gonna take all day. Let me see can I call my other graphics guy to see if uh, he's able to do anything. Now he said next week. But I wanna at least call him and see because Something got to be done. I just got a whole long. I just got a whole long. Good morning, good morning. Today, I am motivated to go out and get my little exercise on before I get my, uh, Book cover started. It's around 7:45 this morning. Let me see if I can do a little something before I hit the road today. Believe it or not, exercising around this park is where I do my best thinking, my best, my best creative writing, and my, I would say, my best ideas for my stories. Because a lot of people ask me, well, what inspired you? Well, I started this book 20 years ago, so. I had many inspirations in between 20 years, but the last three, four years, exercising around this part with my headphones in my ears, listening to music, and just going over scene by scene, uh, trying to figure out what character is going to do what, what's going to happen to the characters throughout the story. It just uh, there's something about exercising and something like a solitude that allows your mind to run free with different ideas. So, if you can use, if you can use exercising as a tool to help you create your stories, by all means, do it. I need to do a little bit more exercising, but I haven't exercised in a while. Not too long ago, I didn't vlog about it, but I hurt my ankle on the golf course. So what happened was I was on the golf course and my partner's ball had went off the fairway. So I went to help him look for his ball. So as I'm looking for his ball, now this golf course is known for having gophers and gopher holes. <clears throat> so as I get ready to walk back towards the golf course, I step into a damn gopher hole that twisted my ankle. You can hear the crunch in my ankle. So I think that scared me more than anything because I know I have to be mobile. I know I have to be able to get around. So I limped, I was in pain, but I kind of walked it off, right? The pain kind of went away a little bit. But uh, after I had to went home, got a little rest, I kind of dozed off for a while. And my golf buddy said, hey, when you wake up in the morning, don't step on that ankle, don't step on that foot. But it didn't even take that long because I dozed off for about 45 minutes to an hour watching TV. And I go to get up and I almost fell to the ground. I'm like, oh my God, what in the hell is going on? The pain was so bad. I mean, I was barely able to limp on that foot. And then I had things to do. I was trying to get to my graphics guy. I was trying to do all this stuff. I knew I had to hit the road too. Man, it was like a big, a big fear came upon me. Because for one, 
the reason why I like playing golf is because it's the less chance you're getting hurt. I could play basketball, you know. I could walk, you know what I'm saying? Eh. But it's a high chance of getting hurt. Now, I'm not young no more, so. I finally went ahead and went to the, uh, to the pharmacy and asked him, hey, what can I take for a sprained ankle? All right, so the doctor said some ibuprofen, some in inflammatory uh, medication, anti-inflammatory. Anti so now here I am in CVS, and I ain't never used a cane in my life. But the pain was so bad, I grabbed one of the, the canes in the store, and I'm hobbling with the cane. I'm like, oh my God, it was fear. I mean, I was, it was scary. You know, I didn't think I was gonna ever recover for, for something like that, right? So I'm just thinking to myself, like, oh my God, I wish this would go away. I really want to just cut my foot off and just give it to somebody else. I had not felt pain this bad, probably since the day I was born. I mean, that was painful. So that kind of equates. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was bad. I didn't want to come out to this world. I was fighting. I wanted to stay inside. The doctor had to knock me out and pull me out. And then he had to resuscitate me because I didn't want to get up. I was like, no. I hear what's going on. Oh, no, I didn't want to come out. My, so my birth was pain. Nah, it was pain. But anyway, yeah, that pain. No, now I know how football players and athletes feel when they get hurt playing a game and they grab their ankle and they like, ooh, ooh, you know. And then you, you see them limping off, people helping them up. I, I totally understand that. People helping them up like, like they need crutches and they helping them up. Oh, no. Ah, trust me, I know what that feel like. Mm, just like the day I was born. It was rough. Man, I did not want to come out of the world. I was like, oh, I ain't going. I ain't coming. But let me finish doing my little exercise. That way I can go ahead and prepare. I'm really hoping I get my book cover done today. Pretty much all I gotta do is drop in my images and the locations where I need to go. Background cover, the color should be beautiful. I want to use a different image. I want to use a different image than the one I had used before. Not the guy, not the girl, but I'm thinking I find one of my old photos that I can use when I was in Hawaii. So let me get back to exercise. I'm trying to lose this gut. anti-inflammatory for my ankle right so I took three then I took two and before I went to sleep I took one you won't believe the next day I was doing jumping jacks now I'm not a person that like to take medication and all that <clears throat> but once I seen how that anti-inflammatory Boom, wipe out the pain. Man, I mean, I was literally doing jumping jacks. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I mean, I had a little bit of pain there, but I was able to two step, right? I can, I can jump up on it. I can, matter of fact, I could jump on one foot, right? And, and, and feel minimum pain. I'm like, wow. So if you, and I remember one time I had a, what they call it, a tennis elbow, and I would not take no medication for it. And it hurt it for weeks. I was out of golf for a while, 
and I just would I take no medication for it. But from now on, I'm taking medication. That is for sure. Well, uh, I am at my end of my little exercise, and what I normally do is I walk around three times. At one point, I started to jog a little bit. I need, need to get back into jogging and try to, it's the summertime, so I should really lose some weight. And uh, see if I can get something done. I gotta get something done, they slide Can't wait. I got bookstores that can't order books. Something gotta get done. A book cover is better than no book cover. Something is going up. His road. Well, I just found out I didn't pass. I'm driving about 850 miles to my next book signing. I found out that uh, that's about almost 14 hours. Now, 14 hours of driving, that doesn't include stopping to get gas, stopping to get something to eat, or pulling over to get some sleep. Before I get there but because this is a two-day event at the same location I'm feeling a little bit better about that because they got 81 books if I get there at 11 or 12 I'm pretty sure I can sell about 30 or 40 books on a Saturday and another 30 or 40 on a Sunday so I'm feeling I decided to skip the McDonald's. Well, I'll get McDonald's later. So let me go ahead and put my email and send this guy the, uh, the images that I uh, want to be put together.